Uh, before I get into today's uh, mail that came in, I wanted to show a couple things that I picked up last night. Um, just kind of a neat thing here. Uh, maybe I'll just show one. I, I bought this at a thrift store uh, locally. And this is a Who Framed Roger Rabbit board game. It's all complete. Unfortunately, there's a little rip. Oh, I don't know if that's a stick or a rip. Oh, the sticker just came right off. Well, that's nice. Uh, there's a little crunch to the bottom of the box. And I said it's all complete. Right, with all the dice and everything in there. And all the playing cards. There's Roger right there. And there's uh, Jessica right there. So kind of a neat little deal there. And I think I spent five bucks on that. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I got a package from a very generous relative, an uncle of mine, and he and his uh, family were cleaning out, and they found some neat stuff. And um, I'll go through this. It's all sports related, and um, the the cream of the crop is the neatest thing here. Is this awesome Mike Piazza? It's so large you can't see it. This awesome Mike Piazza. Uh, some people would call it a doll, but I would call it a, uh, a figure, action figure, with a removable hat and glove and a ball and everything. And you can see the Piazza on the back of the jersey for the Dodgers. Piazza was my favorite Dodger growing up. He played for the Salem Dodgers for a short time. And that's just a really amazing piece. I think I might have to buy a display box for that. That's just really, really too amazing. That's really, really neat. And that will go in my... <clears throat> And that will begin my Keep Forever collection. These I remember, I believe, at uh, Walmart or Target or something like that. And these are these uh, motion flicks type cards or whatever. Um, I never purchased them because I thought they were a little different. Um, it's like a giant baseball card in a frame, that, like a sport flicks type thing. And Cal is doing his thing right there. That's pretty neat. And then um, I'll go through this. Uh, I also was given... Uh, my uncle's old camera in, in a, a bag here. We don't need to go through that, but I might do some videos with that. And you might remember these. I remember seeing these at the store. Comes with an exclusive Topps card and some sort of little mini figurine. I remember seeing those, and I may have almost bought one of those before. I just, you know, I had so many different irons in the fire when I see those. I was like, oh man, I just spent all my money. There's that one, and we got a Griffey one. And I may hang on to that. Uh, as well, or I might give that to somebody I haven't decided yet. There's two more. I don't know how many were in the set. Oh, there's a checklist here. Oh, that's neat. There's a checklist. There's a McGuire, and there's a Sosa. So that's pretty neat. And then, um, we, I won't go through all of these, but there's an assortment of um, Upper Deck Tough Stuff baseball cards and a few other things in there. And some uh, pins of Sosa, McGuire, Maddox, Ripken, and Griffey. And that's, so that's really awesome to have those, and I'll put those in a uh, collection binder and stuff. Oh, we have more figurines here, too. We've got uh, Maddox, it looks like. I got Maddox figurine. We got another Ripken figurine. That's really amazing. And then we got a stack of cards, which will go through their own top loaders. And we've got a bunch of mini pennants. I don't know if these were from the 80s or the 70s, and I would have a binder for these. I just bought 8x10 pages, and I think if I double these up on the page, like this or something, that will be perfect for those. So awesome. Mets. Uh, here's the older Braves logo. The Houston Astros. Phillies. Padres. And red. So that's pretty neat. Now we'll go through the top loader cards in no particular order and not necessarily all stars and there was probably a reason for saving some of these. Um, there's Jack Lazorko, Ron Hassey, there we go. We got Don Slott, uh, Bill Gullickson, Steve Trout, one of George's favorite players. George is my brother. I don't know if it was his favorite player, but he got that Danny Tartable 87 uh, with the uh, Topps All Pro, Rookie All Pro or whatever it is, uh, rookie team. Um, here's a Derek D. Jeter checklist. So that's neat. Joe Bover or Bo Ever. Steve Lyons, who I haven't been able to find a good address for, but that's all right. Andy Allenson. I actually may have his autograph on a different card. That's kind of neat. We got Sammy Sosa. 
Mark McGuire. And this is a Diamond Destiny uh, Frank Thomas. I don't know how hard these were to pull, but that's kind of neat. And it's got a little cellophane picture of him in there. We got a Yogi Berra. It looks like it says, uh, came from Lang's Sports. I don't even know if they're still there. That's kind of neat. Yogi Berra. We have a uh, Greg Maddox. I think I actually had or have that card. And then I've seen this one before a long time ago. This Ultra Stars Greg Maddox. But I don't think I ever had that one. Here's an interesting Topps Archives George Kell. And last but not least, Maddox. So there's a theme there. I think uh, somebody was a Maddox collector there. Um, but pretty neat uh, stuff there. And thanks to... Uh, uh, my uncle and and, uh, and uh, Anita, uh, Rick and Anita, I'll just say their names. Thank you for mailing this off. This was a neat package and I will get that all properly put away in my binders and display that and I will enjoy that for many years. And thank you to everybody that watches and uh, hope everybody had a good uh, uh, week and uh, thank you for watching.